going on? Got some Vikings news this week, and it's a little different than last week. Mm-hmm. Last week was kind of a happy thing, you know, Zimmer yeah. getting extended. Yeah. This week, we got some coronavirus problems going on in, in Vikings world. Um, their uh, head athletic trainer, um, Eric Sugarman, has tested positive for the virus. And on top of that, four of the rookies that reported to camp, I think it was when did they report today? It might have been today. Mm-hmm. Um, are on the reserve slash COVID nineteen list. Now they're not saying that they have the virus. Could have been exposed. Right? They could have been exposed. Right, been exposed. Um, the big name on that list is wide receiver Justin Jefferson, first round pick. Mm-hmm. Um, then we got Blake Brandle, offensive tackle. Brian Cole, safety, and Tyler Higby, offensive lineman. This is a problem. Yeah, I mean the the vets are supposed to report tomorrow. <clears throat> Will that affect the vets I, coming in? And appar- apparently, I know they said the quarterbacks are already there too. So Cousins mm-hmm. is already there. And then who else? Who else is there right now? Sean Mannion, Qu- quarterback. Come on, get those quarterbacks. <laughs> Where's Joe Webb when you need Joe him? Joe Webb, oh, city. But yeah, anyway. this is not good news. With the baseball thing just starting yeah, it, to. With the, was it Marlins? Yeah. With the yeah, Marlins. the Marlins had uh, 10 people get it at once. I so mean, the season they, hasn't even started. They haven't reported to camp yet. They're only four days into the baseball season, and the they're still playing some games, but a few teams have, sele- have elected to not even play the next couple games while they do mass testings. It's just they can't even get through four days. How's the NFL going to do this with a 53-man roster plus coaches and staff? It's... It's going to be hard. It's not like the NBA where you only have, you know, at least 15 guys at the maximum. You got to. And then your mm. coaching and staff, and then your camera guys. Well, and say these four rookies do have it. I mean, who all have they came in contact with mm-hmm. in the day they were there? Um, yeah, it's definitely going to cause some problems. Not just for the Vikes, but just the, everybody. You're, you're going to start just, seeing. This is just the tip. I mean, yeah, this and, is, we're only really in tip. training camp. We're just the tip. Every this is just training camp. We haven't even started the season yet. Yeah. We're talking about practice. Yeah, yeah wait till everybody practice. starts tackling each other and sweating on each other. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's not going to be. Yeah. Like I have a good. I have a bad feeling this season's not going to not going to happen. I hope it's I'm not going to happen, or it's not going to happen as we think. No. I mean, could it be something where we see just each division play? You, you play, you know, maybe you play what four games, and the winner yeah. of the division uh, goes maybe. on to play the winner of another division. I don't know. Well, I'd say I don't you, know. you play what six games because you'd have you'd probably play mm-hmm. each team, each team in your division, you know, twice. Twelve game season, and then you got you know, then you go seed wise. I guess I, it could be something crazy. It, it might be some type of thing where they got to play in a bubble. No fans. And I don't know how you can do it. I mean, they'd be There's so many months. teams. I think because mm-hmm. they also said, I think, was it, is it Oakley or who makes the face mask? Is it Shoot, Shut or whatever? Shut mm-hmm. probably, yeah. mm-hmm. They sent out the, it's not, you know, required, but the players to try out the. The COVID-19. Yeah, the face yeah, shield. I, yeah, I know what yeah. you're talking about. It's just, it's depressing, really, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> no fantasy football. Yeah, it's about my crazy, fantasy? dude. Um, a little bit more news. Yeah, other than that, uh, the whole Dalvin Cook, okay. Um, Cook there's reports, reporting. Mike Zimmer, when he got extended, he did an interview. He said he had talked to the running backs coach and that Cook said he was going to be there. I'm going to report. And a report. Then mm-hmm. Cook's agent came out and said he never said that. So That's a kind know. of a mixed bag. I don't know what's man. going on with mm-hmm. that. If he was smart, he would come to camp, I guess, because like we talked about in an earlier video, he's going to get fined, he's gonna and he's more. not going to have any money. Right. Yeah, he's yeah. going to go so, negative if they fine him for every mm-hmm. single game. And I don't know how this season's going to play out. If, if they have no season, what does this year look like on somebody's contract? Mm-hmm. They didn't play. Do you have another so year? So is, is, is their year? last year going to be next year? Or Since are they, they going to be able to get out of the country? Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's weird. That's another issue. that I don't know how they're going to do that. Yeah. Especially on these rookie deals. Mm-hmm. You know? Unless you just forgo this. I don't know. Hopefully he shows up to camp, but mm-hmm. there's always people holding out, so we never yeah, know. Yeah, there but always is. Then the other news, which I don't like, if this couldn't get any worse. Uh-oh. <laughs> Everson Griffin, Go free State, agent. State Farmer. Packers are in the mix. 
And I guess he's kind of interested, which is they have, odd to me. They have a pretty good defense. Mm. Let's not talk about that. Well, I know, I know the Vikings want him back. They asked Zimmer about him uh, the other day, and he said he wants to have him back. But it's the, run, it's the money issue. Yeah. Honestly, I think it would be smart for him to come back because with the way things are right now, mm-hmm. no offseason. He knows the defense already. Right. And you know the playbook. You have who on the opposite side? Daniel Hunter. Which, Daniel, Daniel will take probably a lot of the double teams. Right. you got Michael Pierce yeah, you, now. you already know the teammates. You already you have that rhythm set. He can go in there and play. And he may only have to play, what, two games? We don't <laughs> <laughs> We don't know. So with yeah. with that negativity yeah. that we just went through, let's end on a high note. Again, we talked about in previous videos. The NFL is doing the top 100 list, voted mm-hmm. on by the players. So far, there's been one Viking, and I don't know how many Vikings are going to be on the list. Less than six, I would imagine, right? Because you said mm-hmm. they've already announced who's got six players. There's been a couple. Because the Cowboys have six, and you guys have seven. With yeah. the Saints, and then there's yeah. a couple other teams with six with the Cowboys tied. But the first player on the Vikings list, number 83, Eric Kendricks. Um, he wasn't rated last year. Last year, he was probably, I think he was like in the top five linebackers last year. Which is so. weird that he wasn't ranked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's not ranked, but he's 83 this year. I think it's more, yeah, that's he doesn't have the, what you want to call it, sexy stats. The same yeah, right, stacks, right. Fumbles. We got a lot of guys like that, though, you know you got, what I mean? Well, what did you say you guys had last year? What, top five in the linebacking? Group. Top five linebacking, top safety tandem, you know what I mean? But well, nobody that, really talks about us. Mm-hmm. You know what, what I mean? That, what, like, was that, weird. what was that stat that I told you earlier? It was Anthony Harris in the past three seasons has got 1,145 coverage snaps and has not allowed a touchdown. Yeah. That's amazing. And for the f- first few years, Daniel Hunter was amazing and nobody yeah, was talking yeah. about him. Which is weird. Yeah. Because, you know, he's He on, actually has the sacks. He's yeah. on pay. He actually has. He's neck and neck right now with Bruce Smith. Yeah, you know, who is the legend. Which we had talked about in an older video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, it is what it is. I mean. Um, but as far as players being on this list maybe coming up. That's, I was going to say. I'd imagine there might six, be five. Yeah, let's say four to five. So, yeah. if, if there's four, <clears throat> there's three more. Yeah. Who do you got for the next three? So, Kendricks is on there. Harrison Smith's going to be on there. I'd imagine Adam Thielen's going to be on maybe there. Maybe Cousins? See, he should maybe. be. He should be, but I, I don't think. I have a feeling he's probably not. Yeah. Um, Daniel Hunter's going to be on there. Here's a question. Anthony Harris, maybe? Thielen was hurt last year, right? For a couple mm-hmm. Yeah, he was mm-hmm. on my fantasy team. <clears throat> Would you take Thielen out and put Diggs in there? Do you think Dig could be a possibility? Well, see, that, I don't know how that works because Diggs, Diggs but not, it is of last year, so would right. well, he still be considered? No, I'd probably be with the Bills because Calais mm-hmm. was with a different team the and he's, on, and the he's the on the Ravens. No, right. now. So, yeah, it definitely would not be Diggs. No. So. And there's Cook, too. I don't know. I mean, there's, so, there's maybe six uh, possibilities, I think. But Right, six possibilities. I think, that, like you said, it's less than six for sure. So I'm thinking it's four to five, though. I don't no. think it's going to be like one or two. No. I think you guys have a couple more. Do you think no. you see Anthony Harris on there? Or do you think he'll get undercut between, you know, like Adams, mm-hmm. you know, your higher end? That's another player we're talking about that doesn't get a lot of respect, though. You know what I mean? Why? Why, though? Is it the I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's always been, it's been like that for a long time. Which, because, you know, going back with Daniel Hunter, he's on pace with Bruce Smith. But then, you know... Everybody was talking about Jared Allen when he was, you know, no. sack, sack, sack. You know, damn near broke the record. Yeah. But now Daniel Hunter's, you know, on pace for Bruce Smith. And mm-hmm. Why isn't he getting the recognition? It's kind of weird. <clears throat> Linebacking cores in the top five. Safe, you have the best safety tandem. But yet I think a lot of the guys on this on, on the Vikings aren't, like, very outspoken guys. Right, They're not, right. like... You know, the, sh- the show that everyone puts on, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? A lot of these players. Well, what, they just go out there and get it done. Yeah, they just play. What was it, Kendricks and was it Barr? Then they used to be roommates in college. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. Anyways. We'll see what happens. Yeah, see what happens. So hopefully, how of a season so far? Yeah, hopefully there's going to be an NFL season. Um, like I said, we'll end it on high note. Well, yeah, yeah we got to have yeah. fantasy. Yeah. Come on, i got to win again. Nah, Peace out, guys. Peace <laughs> like, and subscri- like and subscribe. Tune in for whatever video's coming next.